How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Halligan and this is my YouTube channel about biathlon. So you decide that you want to do biathlon and the first thing is you obviously need a rifle. So you go to a website that sells biathlon rifles and you just are overwhelmed. You don't know what you need. You don't know what you're getting when you purchase certain items and you just want to make sure that you have everything that's necessary. So that's what I'm going to dive into in this video. I'm just going to break down exactly what you're purchasing when you're buying a biathlon rifle and hopefully this will help you in your rifle purchasing process. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you're kept up to date on all the content coming out of this channel. So the first item that you need is obviously the rifle. And now you probably were not expecting me to hold this up when I said biathlon rifle because this probably looks absolutely nothing like what you see when you watch biathlon in the Olympics or in the World Cup, but this is actually the rifle. When you see Anschutz 1827, Fortner 22 caliber rifle on a website, this is what you're buying. This is the rifle right here. Obviously, this long silver part is the barrel where the, the bullet comes out. This is your bolt where the bullet goes in. Right here is your trigger. And then right here is your magazine well. So when you buy a biathlon rifle, this is the exact setup that you're getting. You have the action and one magazine with a trigger, a bolt, and the front sight. So this is the setup that you're getting. So if you were to go to one of these websites and just purchase the rifle only with nothing else, this is what you're gonna get. Obviously, this is not the setup that you're gonna be able to compete with because it's just, look at this. This is just a big chunk of metal, basically. So you're going to need what is known as the stock. And the stock will be the wooden part of the rifle and it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so this is starting to look a little bit more like a normal biathlon rifle. Everything that you see here in wood and these components down here at the back, this is what we call the stock. Now this that I'm holding right here, this is the standard stock that comes with a Anschutz Fortner rifle. Now most shops that you are going to buy a biathlon rifle from will probably try to sell you this exact setup. The only time that they wouldn't is maybe they're a shop that sells other custom stocks uh, that you know maybe they'll try to upsell you to get a more expensive, more custom, maybe a lighter stock. I'll do a full video on stock reviews and uh, explain the pros and cons of different uh, biathlon stocks, but this is the standard style, all right? If you're gonna buy one, just the most basic standard thing, this is what it's gonna look like. Even with this setup, you are not ready to shoot yet because you need a rear sight. On this setup, we have the front sight that you can look through to see the target. However, we don't have the rear sight to actually aim this rifle. So you're also going to need a sight. Now, the reason that it doesn't come with the rear sight is because there are a few different brands, but I'm going to show you what the standard Anschutz brand sight looks like, and that looks like this. Boom. So now that we have the sight on the back, this rifle can be used, all right? You have a magazine, you have a rear sight, you have a front sight, and now you can aim at the target. And I'll just add a really quick picture right here of what it looks like when you look through the rear sight, through the front sight. This is a very biathlon specific setup because we shoot at circle targets, so we want to have uh, concentric circles while aiming. But again, so many other videos on sight alignment and sight aiming and stuff like that. When you go to your local Cabela's or other gun shop, they'll sell, they'll probably sell you a rifle with some sights, with a magazine, and some stock that's typically just a really generic setup, right? But this is the biathlon equivalent of the generic setup. Now, obviously we're on, you know, this is the third piece of equipment that we had to buy now. However, we are not ready to race yet. You may be able to go to the range and shoot this, but we're not ready to race yet. In some biathlon races, we have four shooting stages, which means we have to shoot four times. Unfortunately, the rifle only comes with one magazine. So you're going to have to get at least three more magazines. But honestly, I would recommend getting maybe four, maybe five, because if you lose one or it breaks, you know that you have another one. So we want to add another three magazines to our magazine holder right here. So now that we have our four magazines, we're still not ready to participate in a biathlon race yet. We still need to be able to carry this rifle around the ski trail. And that's the really cool and unique thing about biathlon. It combines cross-country skiing and shooting, and we actually ski with the rifle on our back. So you're going to need a harness to be able to do that. And the harness will go right here. All right, now that we have the harness, are we ready to go yet? Are we set up and ready to compete 
And the answer, unfortunately, is no, still not yet. Next, we're going to need a sling. And basically what the sling is, is it's a component that helps us set up in the prone or laying down position. This little strap really helps us uh, settle and aim at the target in the laying down or prone position. All right, now that we got the sling on, we're going to need some way to actually attach this sling and this hook that you can see right here to our body to help us get in this nice prone position. And that's going to be the cuff. And that is going to be this hook that goes just above your bicep for you to hook in in the prone position. Okay, so this is the absolute minimum setup that you are going to need for biathlon. You have your action, your barrel, you have the sights so you can see, you have magazines so you can participate in races, you have a sling, and you have the harness for you to carry it around the course, and finally you have your cuff. Now, this is the absolute minimum that you will need to participate. But there are a few upgrades that I always recommend athletes getting anyway. Number one being the blinder. The blinder is not absolutely required. You can obviously shoot this rifle and participate without a blinder and plenty of athletes do that. I find that most athletes end up needing the blinder anyway. Finally, the last thing that you're really going to need in order to do biathlon is actually a carrying case. Now, because we have this harness that we use to carry the rifle, they make biathlon specific cases that have holes in the back so that way your harness can stick out and you can still wear the rifle while you're walking around. The case is here to protect the rifle on rainy or snowy days, as well as just protect the rifle while you're transporting it to and from the range. Now, another thing that makes this a biathlon specific rifle is actually this window right here. A lot of people think, oh, I can make one of these at home, that's great, which you can. There's no rules about having to have a specific brand case or anything like that. However, there actually is a, a biathlon rule about having a window in your case so that way range officials can walk around to see if your bolt is open or closed. And this is a safety protocol. And when the bolt is closed, there's a chance that the rifle could be loaded and a live round could be in the chamber ready to shoot. This window allows for officials to walk around and see if the bolt is closed while it's on the rack and not being used. Biathlon cases also have little pockets and bags down here so you can store some uh, tools or just you know spare equipment that you may have. Now I will leave a list down below, a complete checklist of everything that you'll need so that way it will help you stay on track. Feel free to use that free resource so that way you know you have all the components necessary to do a biathlon race and join a biathlon program. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you learned something, hit the like button so that way more people who are interested in getting in biathlon will see this video and they have a better idea of what to get when they are actually checking out and buying a biathlon rifle. But like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I love coming out with coaching videos like this all the time. I think biathlon is an awesome sport. So if you like this stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you're kept up to date on all the content coming out of this channel because I'm really just trying to get more biathlon content on the internet because I love it. It's an awesome sport and it deserves more love. But until next time, we'll see ya.